Hi everyone and welcome back to that section where we're going to build the HTML file for our chat GPT clone which means that today we will start working on the front end. So as we already have the main.py file now you need to create the HTML file for the application. You can do that by firstly creating a folder so I'll do directory called templates and here in the templates we can place all front end files. So I will do new HTML file and I will call it index.html. So firstly let's go up here. Okay, I'll remove that. Let's remove this line as well. And then for the title, I'll write open AI GPT chat. Okay. And for now I will leave only the title in the head. Then when we go to the body, let's create a div. And here I will add a class so I can refer to that field here. So I will do class equals container and this will be the main container for our application. Then I will add a header here and I will write open AI GPT chat. The same like the, the header or the title of our application. Then let's do HR and then I'll do another div and this will be our chat panel. So I'll do class equals to panel and then let's do panel dash default. Okay. And then let's create another div. So here I will do again class and this class will be panel heading and here I'll write chat messages. Okay, so the idea of those classes is that we can refer to every single item in the code and later on when we do and add styles to the different items, for example, the background color for the container or the chat panel, we'll be able to refer to those elements. Okay, and after that, let's do another div and let's again create a class. So the class of this div is going to be panel dash body and then for ID, I will add chat. Okay, so this will be our actual chat. So inside here, I will add the messages. So I will do UL and here I will again add a class that is going to be called list dash group. Okay, and we will close that one. Okay, and this will be our first panel, which is our default chat panel. And here we will place our messages for the history of the chat. Now the next field that I want to do is the field where the user enters the input. Okay, so let's do another div and here I will add class equals to input group and then I will create here an input. Okay, so let's add a type. So here we would expect text. So we would expect the user to add text in this field. Then ID will be user input and then for class I will do form dash control. Then let's do a span and this will be our input group button. So this will be our button. So I will do here class input group btn. Okay. And inside I will add the actual button. Okay. So let's do here class. So here we have btn and then btn dash default. Then let's do id submit. And then the text that I want to display in this button is submit. Okay. You can actually choose any text that you like in your button. Now, once you're ready with the index dot html file you can now do the first run of your application so either go here and click the run main or you can click the play button right there so let's do that and you can see that here in the terminal your flask application have run successfully and this is the link this is a local link with which you can assess it now even though right now your application is running locally later on in the next sections i can show you how you can completely deploy your application in the cloud and have a public link which would make sure that your app can be assessed from everywhere around the world meaning that you can have multiple users that can eventually pay for your application now let's go back to the app click on this link and then you will see that the browser will open immediately. So as you can see right now, our application looks pretty ugly, to be honest, even though we created all the necessary containers, this doesn't actually look like that we've seen. So this would need some updates and some design modification. Also, so far, even if I write something in this field, so let's say, what is the weather today? and I click the submit button, nothing will actually happen. You have no response from the AI. You can see that here we recorded that we activated the get method, but I cannot see the response anywhere. So bear with me in the next two videos where I will show you how you can create a robust design for that application. Thanks for watching.